welcome back for another video it's your girl franny aka francesca i know i know i'm posting this on day seven but let me tell you i tried to record on day six which is yesterday october 6th but the camera is being the pain and the the shenanigans and it's just not good so i decided to let that go yes i failed that that day of that challenge but hey what the heck the show must go on right so i'm gonna give you the update for myself you already know i'm doing the reading vlog part two of telling christina goodbye i am on chapter 17 so let me give you a little update for what i read um so far where was that because i'm trying to remember what happened so the guy ended up in the hospital trisha and tucker trisha she got stitches in the back of her head she has to use crutches for her leg you know and then tucker of course he was injured and he felt guilty about this whole situation even though the police say he's not in charge or anything and then i come to find out um tucker he's 18 trisha cody and christina are 17 so there's a possibility that he might that tucker might go to jail i don't know still hearing from the police and then of course um Cody was in a coma, which is in Chicago, Illinois. That's where we're going to wrap up. And then, of course, Christina was dead at the scene, which is very, very devastating because she was a full of life. She was about to go to the nursing program. She got, she got a whole life ahead of her. And then I feel like her heart is big as the state of Texas. And then... The days goes by, Cody woke up from the coma, so that is a blessing. It is a blessing that he's alive. However, when Trisha walk up to him, the first thing Cody says, like, do I know you? That, my heart sank when he said, do I know you? And that kind of being like kind of torture. So, of course, Trisha was very devastated. It, it It is so bad that Cody's mother mentioned to Trisha, he only, rem like, his brain is from the eighth grader. Meaning, Cody doesn't even know Trisha existed until the sophomore year of high school. That's when they start knowing each other in high school as a freshman and then dated in the sophomore year. So they've been dating for two years and all that was completely gone. So they had to start back from, from the beginning. And this kind of reminded me of the movie called The Vow. It's just, it's just a lot to take in. And I feel like Trisha is the strongest girl because not only she got to deal with the trauma of the car accident that Tucker caused it, but also she has to deal with the death of her best friend, Christina, plus dealing with her boyfriend, Cody, that he doesn't even remember Trisha. And she's taking in all of this at once. And I really hope that she will make pass through it. And then as I read in the chapter, go on. <sighs> Trisha, of course, visit Cody. Of course, it's not going to take a lot in one day. So it's going to take a whole, a whole process so that he could get back on his feet and try to remember her. And Cody has a lot of pictures of Trisha, meaning they had a good relationship and the more she talks to him 
it's getting harder for him to, you know, feel digested and try and remember. But it's going to take a while to process all this. And then, what else did I have mentioned? Oh, yeah, so Trisha went home to her, um, of course, with her parents and her little brother. She wasn't feeling herself lately due to all this craziness going on. And then the police knocked on the door to know, like, if they could give her the statement of exactly what happened. And that's where we, that that's where I ended off. So I'm going to continue reading this and hopefully I will post it later tonight because right now it's 7.58 p.m. So, which I'm almost done with it, by the way. does not remember what happened the accident and knowing that her his friend Christina passed away he tried to remember Trisha but he does not remember which is very sad for me to be honest with you knowing that your friend is gone and knowing that you know her but don't remember very well it's just I don't know how Trisha do this. And the fact that she still stays with Cody says a lot because she really cares about him whether he remembers or not. That's love right there for sure. So let me get back to reading and going. she is acquaintance I believe or no not acquaintance a classmate from the yearbook and Abby understands what Trisha is going through because she lost her brother in a car accident as well they don't know what exactly happened to the brother he might have fallen asleep in the wheel while he's driving I don't know but so it's like a mystery involved. And Abby was with Trisha every step of the way after the death of Christina and taking care of Cody. So, and I feel like Tucker, I don't like Tucker, not even one bit, but I feel like after the death of Christina, it kind of affected him a lot. And I believe that he felt guilty about it. And he's taking it all in and he and he feels like he's more responsible of the death of Christina and feeling guilty is not a good thing it's just it's just a lot and he has to live and Tucker has to live with it for the rest of his life so Cody went back to school after two months of the coma. However, instead of taking advanced classes, regular classes, he has to take from special classes he had to take because it's a lot for him and he has a lot to catch up on. And he is not too happy about it and he's getting frustrated. But of course, Trisha has a lot of patience too. 
you know, help him out a bit. And the relationship is starting to get better to the point where um, they went to prom together. So, of course, they went out to prom. Um, even Tucker showed up despite of what it's going through. And he don't look too happy about it because, of course, Christina's gone. He's going to be left out all alone. And it's just... It's just crazy. So, I'm going to keep on reading. And I'll tell you more about it. So, stay tuned. So, after the prom, when they drove past where the accident happened, that's... It flashes before her eyes. So she confronted Tucker of what really happened and how she remembered. And she believed that Tucker got away with it because Tucker believes that Trisha is having a mental breakdown. Like she won't even remember anything. Plus Cody, who's in a coma, trying to figure it out how it happened. Plus Christina passed away and then the last thing he said was because Christina grabbed my arm this is what Tucker said she snatched my hand off the steering wheel and and I lost control of the car are you trying to tell me that Tucker is blaming Christina that all it happened and then even if he told the truth the judge Still putting Tucker as not guilty because it's accidental. Oh my god. So he could just save his own. You know what? It's just crazy to me. That's why I had to let this out. What I gotta say before I'm gonna lose my mind. So I'm gonna keep on reading.